Где пацаны? Блядь. Да я даю-то, блядь. Five months ago, Ukraine's President Zelensky declared the city of Bakhmut to be completely destroyed. With intense fighting in the area every day since, what is left is almost beyond words. This video contains war footage, mostly from the last month, from in and around the city. Уже працюем. Потому что преграды. Ваши три працюют. This next clip is a controversial one. The building on the left was demolished, but it isn't confirmed by who. Some sources say it was Russia, but the source where I found this clip from says otherwise. It is claimed that Ukraine used mines to destroy the building, to prevent the Russians from entering it and using it for themselves. That would explain why there is such clear video footage of it being demolished as well. These Ukrainian troops are showing tremendous bravery, even just by walking through Bakhmut. Russia shoots an average of 60,000 artillery shells per day, and this city is ground zero. Around 75% of Ukrainian casualties come from these shells. If that weren't enough, danger lurks around every corner in the form of explosive traps and snipers. Russia now controls most of the city, so the danger is higher than ever. Yet Ukraine's courageous warriors carry on.
Ярко и быстро, понял? Та сука! After returning from a successful mission, members of Ukraine's 93rd Brigade find themselves in a Russian attack. They are in grave danger and must find a way to escape. Oops. Notice how he sticks to driving on the road instead of cutting over the grass and debris. This is likely a precaution to avoid driving over a mine. On the right, you can now see a fresh bullet hole in the side of the car. A few inches higher, and he would have likely been hit. Luckily, they escape. In this clip, the Ukrainian military is attempting to push forward. They are carefully testing the defenses of the Russian mercenary group, Wagner. Notice how they move forward, backwards, and side to side. These are evasive maneuvers, as they are expecting to be attacked by what is likely a strong defensive line.
Rest in peace to the fallen on both sides of this war. Keep in mind that the average soldier is just trying to make a living and attempting to do the right thing by serving their country. They are not responsible for the decisions of their leaders. They were born in their respective countries, but that is the luck of the draw. It could have easily have been reversed. Love and forgiveness for all is the best path forward, no matter how hard it feels. Otherwise, we will be trapped in an endless cycle of hatred and violence that will torment generations. I have made other similar compilation videos on this channel, and they will be linked at the end. I hope for a peace as soon as possible, but until that day, I will continue to make more of these videos. This channel also features visual philosophy content, and I will be making more of those in the near future as well. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and share this with your friends and family. Memento Mori, and let's hope for peace as fast as possible.